All right, when I turn my uh, HP instrument on, it's going to tell me something. It's going to say address 23. What does that mean? Let's turn on the uh, power supply here. It says address 6. What does address mean? Uh, that is the HPIB address or the HP instrument bus. HPIB is HP instrument bus. And um, a lot of companies needed to get on the bandwagon. They call it, couldn't call it HP instrument bus, so they called it general purpose instrument bus. Enter, enter general purpose instrument bus, GPIB. And then the IEEE finally said, hey, uh, let's create a standard, and it's the IEEE 488. So those are all the same thing. So what does that mean? It means this stuff. It's these cables. You hook up these cables up in the back, and then you can control it with your PC. And these are really funny connectors. They're these weird D-shaped connectors, and you can you can uh, go connector to connector. You can piggyback them. You can you can do all sorts of weird things with them. But that, that's how you hook them up. All right. So I said that you could use your PC to. Uh, to control instruments. Well, you can also use your instruments to control instruments. So I'm going to show that with my uh, spectrum and my uh, vector. Uh, so I said you could control things with your PC, but you could also control things with other instruments. So um, we're going to control things with this instrument. We're going to go into the iBASIC. Okay, and let's go ahead and load a program that I've already written. Uh, We'll catalog the disk and we will find it. I think it's this one here. Let's load that in. And we'll edit it. Yeah. All right. So if you watched my last video, you can control this instrument itself and you assign the, the HPIB address to 800. It also has the capability of controlling other instruments, and those are on the 700 bus. So the 800 bus is internal, the 700 bus is external. And so if you remember when those instruments turned on, it said, uh, the power supply said it was address six, and the uh, uh, power I mean, the uh, DVM said it was 23. So you, so you assign them to 706 and 723, and those are what those addresses are for. And uh, we will uh, then define some uh, variables, and then we will uh, uh, interrogate them. You can clear things. You can interrogate them to see what they are, uh, and then you can set things. Let's just go ahead and run it, uh, just so you can kind of get an idea here. So when you ask the instrument for its identification, this is how the power supply identified itself. And this is how the uh, DVM uh, multimeter uh, described itself. And then it's actually um, uh, forcing some things and measuring some things, okay? And so uh, let's go back to the, to the edit here. Um, so we're going to output a star IDN, which is identification, question mark, and then say enter a, a uh, a dollar sign and it'll print a dollar sign. That's how it interrogates of what it was. And then we do the same thing here with the multimeter. And then we want to set up the power supply. So we tell the power supply we want to apply on the six volt channel. We want to set a voltage compliance of five volts and a current compliance of half an amp. And then on the 25 volt, positive 25, it's 12 and a half. And on the negative 25, it's negative 12 and a half. And that's how you set up the power supply. Then you say, turn the power supply on, output on. And then here's a fun thing you can do. You can say, display text. You can actually put text on the display of the instruments. I'll show that up here. Um, <laughs> and that's really cool. So we can do that just for fun. Um, and then let's, uh, Let's see here, let's scroll down so we can see the whole program. Okay, so we've done our splash screens. And then uh, we are going to have a, a loop here. And we're going to say, um, what's the current the power supply is currently at? What's the voltage the, current the power supply is currently at? And then what's the DC voltage measurement that the multimeter has? And we're going to print those things out. All right, so let me hook up a load. All right, so um, I've hooked up a 12-volt uh, LED lamp uh, to the plus 12, um, the plus 12 on the power supply. 
and I want to read back the voltage and the current. And so when we run this thing, um, we see that our DVM is measuring 12 volts, but the power supply is only measuring 5 volts. And that's because I was interrogating the 6 volt channel. I should really sh should be interrogating the positive 25 volt channel, okay? So when it gets done here, we'll go modify our program to make sure we're, we're, we're reading from the right channel. So the, the place that we do that uh, is uh, right here, okay? We're going to say instrument select the positive 6 volt. We really want the positive 25 volts, so we'll put in 25 here, okay? And now we've set it up so that we're reading the, uh, uh, the 12 volt channel. And there we go. See, the power supply says it's ah, 12 volts and it's reading 155 milliamps. And uh, the, the DVM is measuring just uh, voltage instead of, uh, it's not measuring current. Anyway, I thought this was just a really quick uh, introduction to HPIB um, programming in, in, uh, in BASIC. Uh, it's going to look very, very similar if you do it in Python or in uh, uh, MATLAB or whatever, you're still going to give these same, these same uh, instructions. You're going to do an output and then you're going to give it a, an ASCII string, you know, measure volt, question mark, measure DC, question mark. Um, it, it depends on the instrument. You need to read the manual. So in the um, uh, power supply we're measuring volt, question mark, but in the uh, DVM we have to say measure colon DC, question mark. Um, there's, there's also AC measurements and other things that the multimeter has. So you need to learn the codes for, for each of the instruments you're doing. And then uh, if you've noticed, any time you end it with a question mark, that usually means you're going to expect a response. And so they usually follow with an enter command. And so we're entering uh, a current here, C, and we're measuring the volts, V. And then we're printing VC. And then here we're going to measure V again, and we're going to print V. Um, and yeah, um, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty basic, right? <laughs> it's basic, um, and it allows you to to do things. Now we could uh, write this program so that we could maybe uh, have a, 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 a loop that that changed the voltage and ramped the voltage up, and then we can measure the current. And then I showed you that we have graphics capability here on uh, this machine, and we could actually plot that, and we could show the. Uh, the curve between voltage and current on this on this light bulb. So anyway, a brief introduction. Hope it was helpful.